Hello, welcome back to our series on metrics. We'll see one more example of finding inverse of a 2 cross 2 matrix using elementary operations. Like in the previous video, we are given a matrix A, a 2 cross 2 matrix 3, 10, 2, 1, 7, and we're trying to find the A inverse using elementary operations. So we will use the property that A is equal to i times a and if i do elementary operation and convert this a into an i while repeating those on this identity matrix what we get is i which is an identity matrix is equal to a inverse of a so the resultant matrix that you get by doing the equivalent elementary operations of invert in the identity matrix will give you an a inverse let's do it right so this is a and here is your identity matrix of the same order and here is a now the first elementary operation that we are going to do is r1 gets replaced with row 1 minus row 2 why are we doing this because first element the diagonal element of row 1 is 3 and the corresponding element in row 2 is 2 3 minus 2 will get 1 which is what we need the diagonal element to be. So let's do that and see what happens. So row 1 becomes 3 minus 2, 1, 10 minus 7, 3, and row 2 remains the same. Because it's an equation, we need to do the same operation on the other side. We do r1 is r1 minus r2, which remains same, and this becomes minus 1, 0 minus 1 as minus 1. Okay, and the row 2 remains same now let's do now what we need to do we need to see if we can make this as 1 right how do we do that we can do it by subtracting 7 from 2 times of 3 which means r2 in becomes r2 minus 2 times r1 it gives us R1 remains same because we are doing it doing the operation on row 2 this becomes R2 becomes 2 times R1 this becomes 0 and this becomes 7 minus 6 1 and what is its effect on our initial identity matrix is R1 remains same minus 1 this becomes 2 times of minus R1 so this becomes minus 2 and this becomes 1 minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 and this is 3 times a now have we got it we have still not got the identity matrix this has to this 3 has to become 0 how do we do it very simple r1 becomes r1 minus 3 times of r2 because this is 0 this diagonal element is not going to change and only this is going to change and we'll get our desired effect so once again r1 becomes r1 minus 3 times r2 this time right so what will we get 1 minus 3 times 0 is 1 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0 and the row 2 remains the same so we got an identity matrix so here this indicates that we stop the operations here right then we have to repeat it on the other side r1 becomes 1 minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 and plus 6 so 1 plus 6 is 7 right and look at it here minus 1 plus 3 into minus 3 would be minus 10 and row 2 remains same minus 2 and 3 times a so hence a inverse here is 7 minus 10 minus 2 and 3 so that's how we find a inverse using elementary operations so which elementary operations to use comes with practice so the more you practice with many number of matrices trying to invert them you will get the logic right so all we trying to do is make the diagonal elements 1 to start with 
and then find out ways to make non diagonal elements zero if you keep repeating it on both sides you will eventually get an identity matrix on the left hand side and that's when you know you have got your a inverse keep watching math smart subscribe to math smart thank you